In the first group representing Russia, Natalia Zabiako and Alexander Enbert. 2017 Russian bronze medalist, silver medalist at Grand Prix Russia last season. In their third season together. Triple twist. But here come the side by side triple toes. Very nice. Triple loop, accelerating out of the air. Just a lovely skate. Not a single bobble throughout that entire performance. She was born in Estonia. She competed for her home country, qualified a spot for Sochi, but her Russian partner didn't get his citizenship in time, so they didn't get to compete. Now, competes for Russia, where the field is a lot deeper in pairs than it was in Estonia, for sure. But this type of performance, when you see that level of quality from start to finish, is going to keep them in the conversation in just about any event. Now, Russia gets three teams. The two top teams are pretty much set in stone with Stolbova and Klimov and Tarasova and Morozov. But with performances like this, you have to think they're the third best team coming out of Russia. They were the bronze medalists at the last nationals. But just looking back to back skating with Denny and Frazier, they do comparable elements, but it's just the ease and the power that you see from the Russians that makes them seem so much stronger from start to finish. There's not a single and out of place. I mean, this is a huge skate for them. There are very good teams to come, 
but they did exactly what they needed to do to put pressure and I would not be surprised to see them climb in the ranks if any of these top teams make mistakes. The only Russian pairs team at Skate Canada after we saw a sweep of the podium at Grand Prix Russia. And the side-by-side -side jumps are their biggest weakness and they <laughs> were textbook. We've seen her have some trouble with the rotation, but not even a little bit. And then look at the power. Keeps the free hip up so that the free leg is not even close to touching down. And just their speed. They're constantly low in their knees. They're pushing from start to finish. And they have such a nice, elegant line. They're both taller. They can create these lines that some of the teams that are mismatched in height just can't compete against. They started the season strong. They had two wins on that Challenger Series earlier this fall. The short program score, 69.0. 69.0, and that is enough to put them in first place over Denny and Frazier. 